Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Sandy. I am so um, happy to be back with you guys, back in my kitchen doing some filming. Um, if you have followed me for a while, you know um, I posted recently that I just lost my mother um, just a few weeks ago and uh, it has been extremely, extremely, extremely difficult. It's been a very difficult time for my family. Um, but I'm think that it's time to get back in my kitchen and do um, what I enjoy doing, what I love doing, and what I do that it's it just it makes me feel closer to my mom because she, um, y'all know I always said she was an amazing cook and she simply was and I just feel I just feel like she's with me when I'm in my kitchen so I'm very happy to be back. Um, I appreciate you guys all the um, wonderful comments then for. Um, you know, this, the support, the sympathy and support. Uh, like I said, it, it's been extremely difficult and I love you guys. I love you all so very much. And I just, I really want to get back in here and start sharing some um, more amazing recipes with you. I'm sorry for the long um, introduction, but you know, y'all know I like to talk. I like to eat and I like to talk, so. That's just the way I am. But today on um, this channel, on my channel, we are making, um, this is a tribute to my mother and it's gonna come just in time for um, the holiday seasons, um, especially Thanksgiving, which is just right around the corner. And mom made the most fabulous green bean casserole. And I don't have one of those on my channel and this is perfect. So I'm gonna throw one together for you. Um, and I know it's gonna make mom proud. Um, this is a her recipe and I know that you guys are gonna love this and without further ado let's go ahead and get started on this all right guys we're gonna start off with um, getting our pan started here we're gonna turn it up on about medium and I'm gonna add to this um, about we're gonna do about two and a half tablespoons of butter maybe a little more if we need it Um, but what we're going to do is, once that melts nicely, um, Mom was always big on adding fresh mushrooms to her uh, green bean casserole. And we're also going to do some um, onion and garlic. This is just a large clove of garlic, obviously, um, a small onion, and, um, you know, some mushrooms. You could you use as many or as little as you like. And I got them cut, um, you know, not super thin because, uh, you know, you know, me and my bites of stuff. I love to have a nice big bite to it. But mom was always, always putting fresh mushrooms in her uh, green bean casserole. She always went the extra step. And um, I, this is amazing. And I think that you're really, really going to like it. And while that's heating up, I am just using the um, French style green beans. You can use any type of green bean that you want. You can use um, just the cut green beans, um, the French style green beans. And um, honestly, for Thanksgiving this year, mom um, talked about making hers with fresh green beans. That's what I'm gonna do at Thanksgiving is fresh green beans because that's what she was gonna do. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're also gonna use a can of cream of mushroom soup, some French's um, fried onion or French fried onion, that's not French's. And then what else? We're gonna use about three fourths cup of chicken stock. And if you don't have any chicken stock, like I don't, um, you know, just use what you have on hand. I've got some chicken bouillon and three fourths cup of water, which you all know, know I like the bouillon cubes a lot better than chicken stock anyway. I don't have to repeat myself a million times, now do I? So I'm just trying to get these open while I'm waiting for that butter to melt, but that's all right. We're also going to use just a little tiny bit of Worcestershire sauce, just a little bit. So once this starts getting nice and um, melted, what I want you to do is add your onions, mushrooms, and garlic in there. Sorry about the little pot here, but you know what? This was my mama's, and uh, I just refuse to use anything else other than this when I'm making this green bean casserole. We're gonna put all those in there, and we're just gonna saute these 
um, just until they start um, becoming nice and soft, which should only take, um, you know, maybe, maybe about four or five minutes and the um, onions are nice and translucent. Oh, it smells amazing already. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some pepper to this. And we're just going to continue to stir these. Got to keep my eye on them while they continue to cook. All right, these look absolutely beautiful. Um, and it just took uh, maybe three or four minutes for those to get down, put down to um, where I wanted them to. And this is absolutely perfect. We're going to go ahead and toss in um, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce. It's going to make it, you know, a really savory flavor. I love green bean casserole. And you know what? My mama loved green bean casserole. Now, go ahead and add your chicken stock. Stir it around. And we're going to add our green beans. Now, I drained these green beans, the majority of the liquid off of them. All three cans. Like I said, feel free to use any type of bean that you want to use. Um, she also used just the cut, uh, regular cut green beans, um, you know, a lot. She used those a lot. Oh, this smells so good already. And then just stir that. We're going to heat these green beans through. I'm going to add some onion flakes. If I can find them. Lots of flavor. Lots of flavor. That's what we're looking for here. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more. If I can find it a little bit more garlic because you know I like my garlic not a whole lot just a little and then just stir those around and what's happening right here is those green beans are getting infused um, with all that delicious flavor mm. let me also tell you um, the reason why I'm using chicken stock uh, instead of milk you could use milk um, if you wanted to but it's, you're not going to get the same um, flavor with your um, green bean casserole. You know, the flavor that I'm looking for, the flavor how my mom made it, um, if you could just use milk. I'm going to look and see how liquidy these are. Liquidy, if that's even a word, before I decide to add any um, milk in them. I might add just a little bit of milk. But you know what? I think this is going to be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I just stir those. Again, you're just heating this stuff all the way through. You're getting it mixed really well together. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, and if I didn't tell you, preheat your oven to um, about 350. You know what? If that's not enough flavor, I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. We're going to add about, i got to shake all the pumps out of it, about a half a cup of um, Parmesan cheese. Oops, coming out and jumped. And that's going to add an additional, um, you know, deliciousness to it. Then just stir that all together. I've seen people use... Uh, the uh, what is it cheddar cheese and I'm not a fan of that this is gonna be perfect look at that and then we're gonna go ahead and throw in our go ahead and throw in some of your um, fried onions I hope you can see over my hand nice big handful or two or three 
all that's going to do is provide so much flavor to these green beans. Give it a stir. And again, we're just giving it a startup time in the oven here just by heating it all up together. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to pour this right into a casserole dish. All right, right into a, a casserole dish it goes. Look at that. Mm. And look at that. Look at those nice big mushrooms. See that? Isn't that beautiful? It smells so good. And then what we're going to do is... No, nope, let me get the rest of this out of here. My oven is ready. I'm right-handed, so I really couldn't scoop those green beans out of there with my left hand. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And we go right over top with some more of your onions. French fried onions. I noticed I didn't add any salt. I don't know if I told you that when I was cooking this. I didn't add any salt because we used the chicken stock to help flavor the beans. Um, and it had plenty of salt in it and the Worcestershire sauce. And plus these two as well. Sorry guys, you know, you know it's a perfection here. I have to make sure that there's like equal amounts everywhere. It's like topping a pizza. You gotta make sure there's enough cheese everywhere. I think that's plenty, don't you? Now, this is a personal choice for me. I'm gonna go right over top with just a little bit more cheese. Just a little bit, just a little bit. That's a little bit. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. Um, I'll let you know the exact time once it comes out of the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. My casserole is done. I want you to look at that. Um, I've let it sit out for about 20 minutes before um, I start to serve it. I wanted you to see it. it is absolutely beautiful. It baked in the oven for 35 minutes. It smells absolutely amazing. And honestly, nothing, nothing else to do but give it a taste. I'm going right in there because um, I'm going to fry some steaks tonight. And this is what we're going to have with it. So I want you to look at that. Look at that big piece of that mushroom. Now, I'm telling you what, this is absolutely phenomenal. It's still very hot. Mmm. Ma'am. That is so good. You get that big bite of that mushroom with it. That's just the way I like it. It's just the way my mama made it. I know she would be proud if she was here today. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you give it a try. From my family to yours, happy, happy holidays. You know I love you guys very much. Make sure you give this a try. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.